Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sober Lab, and today I will show how to install Pewigo. This application is based on uh, photo management. Why you want to do it? Okay, Google Photos is starting to be paid, and uh, until now I'm looking for a best option where you can have the same uh, application as the Google Drive, but self-hosting. I don't want uh, to host anything anymore in the cloud, because uh, I don't know how they are using my pictures, I don't know if I save there. Anytime they can increase the price of my hosting and that's if I have a big library, they will start to charge me more and more and I will need to follow the advice or I need to follow what they offer me. Otherwise, I don't have other options to do. So I will start to show some application that you can install to manage your pictures. One of those is Piwigo. Why I decide this one? Because you have application for phone, it means that you can install Android or iOS, as well you can have uh, application for web UI, so it's interesting to know. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, don't forget to subscribe for the channel, leave your like straight away, otherwise you're gonna forget in the future and that's too late for me, and let's go to see it. Okay, first thing that we're gonna do is open the Piwigo website and that's uh, have a look how is this application. Here's in the Piwigo website, they read the put really clear, Man manage your photos collection with Piwigo. It's an open source application, so we not pay anything. Because it's open source, everyone can see the source code from this application, so you can check if uh, they're not sending any data outside from your network or don't share this picture for any test or any trial or anything that they are doing. You know what is going on and at least you are safe. If you understand a little bit of program, you can either modify it the way that you want. But it's not the case. So they say that it's designed for organization, teams or individual. So you can create some groups, you can create some users and in the case of groups, you can define that some groups have permission to access some libraries and others users will have permission for specific libraries and gone, depending on your application. They say that have thousands of organizations, millions of users love this application. I don't know, it's your choice if you like or not. I only want to show that exists and if you want to install and you like it, good for you. Let's go down. They say why you choose Piwigo. They say that uh, they can classify thousands or hundreds of thousands of photos at the same time. So you can have a large library and that they will be able to handle it without problems. As well, they are 19 years in the market, so they are quite sustainable. And they say that's open source, as I told, they can be auditable. So you can check what is going on in the application. Let's see if I have something more interesting. No, that's it. I think that's only some reviews. So we go here in the top and go in the demo. Here in the demo, you have some kind of demos. Let's go for the first demo. So here in the demo part, you can have a look how look like the gallery, how they show you. You can have uh, lots of folders look like woods and inside this wood have a lot of folders for wood and depend what you need, you know? Okay, have this one in mind, we're gonna start to install the Piwigo. The image that we're gonna install is Linux Server Piwigo. This image has been updated four days ago, so it's quite recently. Platform, the architecture that they support, it's 86 and 64 bits, also ARM system. So they will work quite well in the Raspberry Pi. I didn't try it in Raspberry Pi, but if you try and you'll work, please leave your comments and that um, other people already know about it. So here in application setup, they say what you need to have. You need to have a database. So we're gonna install a separate database for this application. We have uh, to set up this database, obvious, otherwise they, how they will connect it. And now they have the installation through the Docker Compose. They suggest you use the Docker Compose. That's great. Now let's see the parameters for the, this Docker Compose. If we go down here, hits all the parameters. They say that we're gonna use the port 80. I'm not use port 8 because I already have open image of installing this computer. So if I use port 8, they will have a conflict with the web page for the open image of and will not work well. So we're gonna change for port 85. Now PUAD PJD. PUAD PJD will be the IDs for the user. Time zone will be the time zone where you live. Slash config that will be the folder for the configuration and the volume for gallery. 
remember, uh, when they created this gallery, they create a lot of files inside this gallery. They will create the attempts, they will create the plugins, the image, all a lot of information inside this gallery. So if you don't want to mix this gallery with your media and mess up all your organization, don't create in the same folder. You create a folder specific only for this gallery and there you can sync, you can import all the pictures separately. Don't do it straight away because you're gonna mess up with your gallery and create lots of files that uh, is not usable for you. But I will show you it in a minute. Okay, something else that we need to know? No, it's fine. Now we go back here and we copy this Docker Compose and we're gonna open our portrait and create a new stock. In portrait, we're gonna open stock. Here in stock, we're gonna add a new stock. We're gonna add, paste the information previous copy. We define our name for container that will be the same, Pwigo. And now our environmental, PUIDPJD. So to discover it, we're gonna open our putty. Here we're gonna write ID and user that we are using, Sauber Lab, and that we put enter. So we know that our UID will be a thousand and our JID will be a hundred. Have this one, we can minimize it and we change a thousand, a hundred. Time zone, Europe, London, I believe exactly the same. Now our configuration path. Now we're gonna open our OpenMGFAL and we're gonna use our merge folder. If you saw my previous video, so you saw how I did my merge folder. And this merge, it's related from these three hard drives and I will merge only one location. So I will use this merge location. Now we're gonna be back in portrait, past this one in the configuration. Inside this merge, I will create our folder called pwigo config, pwigo config, where I will save all my configuration and that inside I will create a folder called data. This one because in the same folder we need to create a database and to avoid to have different locations, I will leave everything the same thing. My gallery will be created exactly in the same uh, merge location and I will create a folder called pwigo. So all my gallery, my pictures will be in this folder pwigo. As I told, I will change the port for 85, otherwise we'll have conflict with my open image aval. And I have all set up, I will come here and put deploy this stack. And I will wait some seconds until they finish the deploy. Once that they finish deploy, I come here in container, I come here in Pwigo and see if it's everything's okay. Wonderful. If I print this information done, it means that everything run perfectly. So we can now set up our database. So to set up our database, we're gonna use the following image. Linux server, my database. I could use uh, MySQL, I could use Postgrade, but no, I want to use my database because I like this image and it's quite a fast database and I never had any problem with it. So we come here and we're gonna have a look a little bit about this database. And uh, they say that the architecture that they have, it's 86 and 64 bits, also ARM system. So they will work in a Raspberry Pi without any issue. That is great. Now we're gonna be down and they suggest you to make installation through the Docker Compose. First, we're gonna look for the parameters. So we go a little bit down and here. The parameters that we're gonna use first is the ports that we're gonna use. The port is 3306, I will change it and we'll explain why, but uh, we're gonna change. Our PUID, PJD, I already showed previous how to discover your ID and JD, so I don't need to explain it anymore, you know. The MySQL root password, it means that it will be the password for the root, we need to define it. MySQL database user that we're gonna use, as well the user for the database and the password for the database. Also, the time zone will be exactly the same time zone that you defined previously. And here in the part of remote. Remote is optional. I will give an example of why you're gonna use it. You want to have two computers. One computer, one location, another computer, another location. And you want to create a URL and that externally they can access this database and they will have only one centralized database. You can use it, but in our case, we're gonna use everything in the same computer. So we don't need to configure a remote for external access. As well, for this database, we're gonna need to create a volume call config. Have everything in mind, we go back in our Docker Compose and we copy this information. Have copied this one, we're gonna be back in our portrait and we come in stock and create a new stock and we paste this information previous copy. 
Now, the name of our container will be Piwigo database. I could leave Marian database, but to avoid confusion, and I know that this database is only used for the Piwigo, I will leave the Piwigo database. Here in the container name, I will change it for Piwigo database. Now, the PUID, PJD, I will change it. In my case, my PUID will be 1000 and my PJD will be 100. That's great. I will change my root password for password. Really difficult. Time zone I will leave exactly the same. Now, my user. Because I'm using this application only for Piwigo, I will make exactly the same name, Piwigo. Now, my user, I will use exactly the same, only to avoid any confusion. You can use any user that you want, but for me, it's easy. Also, the password for the database will be exactly the same. Password, don't use it, please. We should not save at all. Now, remote SQL, as I told, we not use a remote SQL, so we can remove this information. Now, the volumes. As I told, we're gonna install exactly the same folder that we install our PWIG configuration, so I leave exactly the same, but I create a folder called DB database. Port. We're gonna change the port for 3301. Why it? Uh, because I like to use the port 3306 for my next cloud when I do the installation. So, uh, because a little bit systematic, I like to put each database different ports. So I use the port 3301. Have everything defined, we come here and put deploy the stack. Until now, we already installed our Piwigo and we installed the database that's required for run the Piwigo. But we didn't start to set up the Piwigo to access it. To do it, we need to open the port 85 as we define. First time that you open the port 85, they will open this page for do the installation. This installation only for you to connect the Piwigo to the database that you previously created. So to connect it, you need to put your host. In my case, it will be the same IP for my machine. It will be 192.168.1.215. And the port that I'm using is 3301. If you define a different port, use the port that you define. The user will be Piwigo. The password will be password. And my database will be Piwigo again. This database prefix you can leave exactly the same. It's not set up yet, but you can define any one that you want. Let's leave the same. Our user will be our admin user. In my case, I put CyberLab and password password. And here the email. We're gonna remove the subscription and put start the installation. Wonderful, we finish here to do the installation. So they say, congratulations, you finished the installation. So we come here and put visit the gallery. In the gallery, I say, I want to upload my pictures. And great, here I can create my first album. Let's create my first album called Sauber Lab. Wonderful, my first album will be Sauber Lab and I create. Here I can add my picture. If I come here and connect Sauber Lab and wonderful, we upload our pictures for Sauber Lab. If I open here, I can see my picture. I have some information, the name, time nail, the date that has been created, the location, the size of the pictures, if I have any other information that I need to know. If I come here for add, I can add lots of pictures as well. I can connect for some applications as Piwigo US that I will show how to set up in a minute. As well, you can do from the Android, you can connect some other applications as well. You can synchronize with FTP. They explain how to do the synchronize, but it's not uh, the top for this installation at the moment. As well, here album, you can manage with different albums you can create. You can create some links that you can access and you can search for the, those pictures. If you come here in user and manage users, you can create a lot of users to connect to this one. In this case, I already created a guest. You can create a user one, two, three, four, five and create different folders. And then each user will have access for different folders or different uh, albums that you define or the user define as well. Here in plugins, they already have a few plugins pre-installed, but if you come here in other available plugins, you can connect to Microsoft 365. You can have a, a lots of different plugins that you can use. It's worth for you read what it's about and if you want, you can install or not. Here in configuration, optional, you can have the name of the Piwigo look like welcome to Piwigo or welcome for Sauber Lab or welcome for something. As well, you can define the permissions. You can allow the rating, you can allow the users to register themselves 
or not you can allow some uh, customer users you can uh, you can define for a dark mode or a clear mode you can de define the size of pictures look like you can resize after the load and that will be maximum this size or I want uh, to be the normal size I want to be small size you define what you want watermark you can create some watermark in the corner or in the other corner so all the pictures that display they will show a small watermark where you want if you want to put your logo uh, display they will have all these informations and if you want to put any comment so that is fine we come back for the dashboard in dashboard they say that I use two megabytes and I have only one user and one picture upload as long as you start to upload more pictures and create more users you can have a, a better overview what is going on now we try to configure this application for our phone to do it I'm using a US phone and I already download the application I already pre-configure the ports that I need to access if I'm using internally or if I'm using a WireGuard VPN or OpenVPN it means that I can use exactly the same port that I will open in my network I can use HTTP I can use exactly the same port 192.168.1.215 to dot state 5 if I use a zero tier or this kind of VPN you need to use the port or the name of the application that the VPN will offer for you then you put your user and your password and come here login once that login, they already appear my album, that's our lab, and here my pictures that I can have. If I want to upload some pictures, I can come here and upload pictures. They will ask if you want to access your library. In this case, I'm not allowed it. But then you can upload, you can create new albums. If you come here and create a new album, you can create album one, two, three, iPhone or Android or no anything that you want. If I come here in configuration, I can define the size of the pictures that will show as well if they have a thumbnail for show you also the cache that you have access look like you can define the maximum that you want to use if you want to have a used disk maximum of I don't know 1000 or 2 gigabytes or I don't know how much pictures you have as well how much memory that will use in this case they are using 0.6 of 16 megabytes that I define, but I can put 256 megabytes of run that I want to define on for this application. As well, you always can clean the cache, and that's all the cache will be clean and tidy for you. In this video, I show an option for picture management where you can organize all your pictures in one location. This one is only try to migrate out from the Google Drive. I didn't check this application when that you have a large library I pretend to do it in the future let's see when I will do it but uh, I still looking for a best application that can manage all my pictures until I find one that I really like I will keep trying different options and we'll show you guys which one that uh, you can choose as well if you like this video and you didn't leave with your like in the start of the video leave now if you don't like and you think that's totally necessary leave your dislike subscribe for the channel and see you next time bye